Hey guys, Alpha uh, from Manmo. Today, we're doing some tractor updates. Enjoy! So starting off, we got a bunch of transmission cases, and these are all empty. And there's a transmission aisle. There's also the engine aisle, which is packed right now. <laughs> got the little Honda. Um, this thing runs really good, except that if I can get the hood open. The stoto is kind of going out on it, which you have to pull the whole engine because the stoto bolts are located behind the flywheel. So I kind of need to, to do something with that. But I really don't use this thing, so it really doesn't matter that much. Could use a hood paint. Some more engines, that looks like an engine block. Maybe a project for this year, who knows. Um, a few random things, there's was supposed to be an engine for that golf cart, I might put it in still. Cook converters in that box. Over here is all the mufflers, couple hoods, more junk, steering wheels, cylinder heads, a little transmissions, tins, and a bunch of cub traders, more exhaust stuff. The Ford um, really hasn't done much since the last video. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but it's definitely not going to get like like off-road or anything, it's just gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it how it is. We got the Honda 4518, which is a beast, and let's see what we do here, because I haven't started it in a while. So like I said, neutral, shut those off. Just like that. On the run, just as it should. Battery was slightly dead. Bunch of pulleys and a flywheel. The 100 buck ST16 hasn't changed. You can kind of see that that plug wire is different. That's because I got that that other um, kit that I threw on it, which it worked really good actually. But the battery's dead, so I can't start it right now. Uh, what is this, like an, just a 14, I guess, a Sears Suburban 14. It doesn't have a key in it. If it did, I'd probably try starting it, but the battery's probably dead. Most of these back here haven't really been touched. Um, the SS-16, I believe, it's a 77. Um, the only reason I bought this because it was like 300 bucks or something, and it was... The 16, and I also have the 18, so I kind of had both of the owners. There's also a 19.9, but I don't have that. And this engine also has been short blocked, which I believe it was just rebuilt by Onan. The 59 David Bradley hasn't really seen much attention. I really just bring it to tractor shows, and that's pretty much it. It's got to be reliable. I think it's like a six host, five and a half host Briggs and Stratton. The SS or the ST16, two of two, is back here. Um, there's the nose, which I've fixed up all nicely. Pretty much needs assembled. You can kind of see I started assembling it. There's a box of stuff there, and I got all of the bolts in there. So, sometime I'll have to get this back together. This one will look clean, put back together. It's I got it all sandblasted and painted, so it's pretty pretty well done. We'll go look at what else we have. Moving along, we got a bunch of pout tractors, a little Honda, and the party bus just kind of out in the rain. Um, I kind of need to get new speakers, these ones kind of fell apart, and I tried for so long to find the screens that go on here, but I never found any. The lawn chairs out here. 
on the wheel wheel, which hasn't seen much after the video, except that the, what was it, the key in the axle broke, so I had to replace that. The racing tractor, I can't remember what happened, but, oh, I think the throttle broke, yeah. Let's go check it out. There's the foot throttle. And the cable snapped off, so I'm going to have to fix that. Better is that, it's all good. Couple engines, tire for the Suburban, that's the spare tire. Bunch of mode power trackers, the two Hondas. They just have a little like horizontal air cooled engine, nothing really special. I do like that body style though, that's a cool looking body style. Golf coats back here. I might get to this thing this summer probably. Um, it really doesn't need much. I just need to go pick up some steel and load a little plate in there and get a gas pedal hooked up. The brakes are already kind of hooked up. It's going to be a little bit weird though just because um, if I can pop it open. Oh, it's heavy. But that's the thing goes this way, a differential. If it was this way, the engine would go here and the token would go like that. That would be a lot easier, but no. This looks like a broken spicer gear. This is the one that would go from your shift key set to this and to bowl gear. That got broken up pretty decently. We got beast mode. I still need to put it together. I've been working on a few other things, but this will be driving soon. Got those you can see them nice shifter decals. You can buy those at the offermanrose.com slash shop in pretty much any color you need. This little thingy, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of just sitting here for parts. John Deere, it's got the liquid cooled um, like 14 horsepower Kawasaki. Kind of an okay motor, I probably want not They might be okay. I've really never used one. But one of the problems if, if you own one of these trackers is a 178 I believe is the fuel pump is right above the exhaust and it likes to leak fuel onto exhaust which means boom boom not just inside the engine but outside the engine too so make sure yours isn't leaking um what's this thing probably a command or a cartridge right yep probably just needs fixed up um, there's another one, and another one, I'm not sure what all these have, that's got a, probably has a peel or something, right? It's got a spicer, that's got a hydro. I just feel a little pouch mose and two bigger projects right here. Snow blow for the GT, which you guys will see in a little bit. John Deere living its last days. Or the total, a couple of broken hoods. A generator. This would have a really cool engine on it because it's just a little 10 horse to come see it. Probably be good on a on a mini bike or something like that. Except that it has a tapered shaft. Dynamog with a 12 horse. I think it's like it's, it's a little bit seized. I mean it was spin but just not fast enough to get started. It might also be a weak starter I think. Um, this is one of few GTs. It's got the 633A as usual. But it's also got a Cola Magnum, which I've only owned two of those engines. So if that says anything, probably not very common. This is a really nice looking Trovos flathead. Probably need to get that inside. Um, I did a couple of videos on this thing. It's the Bolins, the Husky. It's got a, um, a 15 OH15 Tecumseh. Good engines. It's just that they use those those big um, SSI modules which go out, which I've converted out of. Bago. There's an engine underneath that. And a few other things like Mode Deck. Um, one of two old craftsman frames. I think everything's here to put it together, it's just that it needs to put together. There's a second one right there. I I don't remember what they call them, but they're they're not too common. You don't see them every day, so 
I think that 12 volts actually came with it so that engine could go on this but yeah we've got the Lincoln Town Co which I just made a video on I actually got all of this taken apart like this wood grain is all off and everything I cleaned out behind it and all um, smells a lot better in here but I cleaned everything up you know that's probably locked it isn't actually it's a little bit cleaner I need to do the flow still I've put a couple of little stickers on it um, but yeah, I also just got new plug wires, which I painted myself, as you can see. They look very good, as you can tell. Um, I bought a new fan clutch because uh, it doesn't have a very good fan clutch on it, but it had a bolt going through it. And I, just, I got a thermostat, too, because it has just been jabbed open because this thing used to overheat um, I did buy valve cover gaskets because it's got almost 250k and it's leaked a little bit but you literally have to take off the intake I'd say all of that because that thing's in the way and then you can get the valve cover gaskets replaced so probably won't be replacing those but yeah Big John Neo um, I, I think it's been repainted I believe it's been repainted it's got like a 12 host color, 10, something like that, but it, I think it kind of blew up, so it's, it's in need of a new engine. This is a Toro, which I need to, should be in that box, a new carburetor for it, because it's got that one piece, I think they call them flow jet, which is kind of flooding it out. The Cushman Golf Cart, it's back here. This is why I love this thing. Just like that. Won't well, idle, I guess, but it's a pretty solid little unit. We got the blue Cushman, which I made a video probably a couple months ago that the differential is kind of messed up on it. So I need to get this fixed. I got the spare OMC sitting out here. I'm going to come out here and like, put something in these and that so I don't get moisture down in it and this is that GT that I was talking about it's got a big own big own end in it which if I had an own end or a KT18 or whatever Colo Magnum I'd choose the own end just because they're they're probably a little bit more common but they're also just in my opinion built probably better but this thing fires right up it might fire up let's see yep Put it at idle, maybe. It wanted to. I don't know why this thing wants to run. Well, might be out of fuel, who knows. But those are nice Onan engines. I believe it's a 20 horsepower. It's also got a brand new blade on it. Um. I got that from something, I don't know, but it's in box and everything, so I put it on there, haven't used it much. We got the Honda by Phil back here, just having a fun time. Um, well, it's been money, it's just been sitting here probably since the video you guys last seen it in. We can try starting it up, but it's probably not going to do much, just because it, I need to have the clutch in it really to start it up. Oh. I probably want that on. Yeah, it starts right up. I kind of let off the... It starts right up, no problems. But I need to get the... The bent axle fixed in it. Because it's destroying the case. It's pretty good. I got this grasshopper, which I got, I think, last summer. And I replaced the head gaskets because... It blew those out. It blew one, but it's just better to do both while we're at it. And it's been... Been going good after that. It's got... 1200 hours on it, so not bad. Uh, this is a really good industrial zero tone mower. Whole deck was went through, so should be ready for some mowing now. That golf coat, or not, not a golf coat, a go coat with a 10 host to count. See, it's got some, some suspension, I mean, to an extent. 
because that's what's some in the back too is the 78 GT18 Suburban might fire up let's see yep it wants to we'll call that good enough yeah this thing's pretty cool it's got the got a hydraulic blade that I put on it it's a Toro deck lift system there's a little actuator thingy um yeah i've used that a long time now and it's haven't had too many problems with it we got my first tractor which i repainted it's got a v twin i believe um it needs some front end work because the tires are a little bit a little bit messed up they're kind of they're kind of bowed in modes and yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. I think the fuel pump leaks a little bit too. We got the auto Cushman, which I just put on. Can you see it? Maybe. The GM HEI ignition module, which makes these point engines work a lot better. But yeah. But yeah, this thing's been going good ever since that. And. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do with it besides just use it. I need to get the front suspension fixed because it's got a big broken piece. There's supposed to be a piece of tube behind the wheel. The tire down there and it's just broken in half. Um, I picked this little guy up. It's a full L60. It's a, it's a new style because it's got the removable bow housing. And it was, it was out of a 2000, 2002, something like that. Suburban, so I don't think it will fit in mine correctly. I mean, it probably will bolt up, but I think the wiring could be different. I could be wrong though, because they both have. You kind of see. It's got a green connector, and mine, my Suburban has a green connector too. It's a 12 pin, I believe. It might fit. We'll see what happens. This oil panel looks a little bit different should make that much of a difference but I bought this because it's a hundred bucks it's already pretty much taken out of the vehicle we'll be building it soon and I'll have it ready for when mine goes out I'm not planning on it going out but it's just a good backup you know so I can take the old one out put it back in a couple of hours and be good to go again um, unfortunately the junkyard does put a hole in the oil pan because they want all the oil out of it yeah, it's got the token voter on and all um, I probably won't use this just because it's all rusted on the other side, but I just picked it up because it's good for a recall return if I need to. It does spin really good too. Input shaft, I've spun that by hand too. And we got this little guy sitting out here. Um, I think this is going into the to the 16, the ST16 that's being restored because the original transmission's got like a broken fill plug and a broken bolt and whatnot. So, yeah. There's the off-road tractor, which has just been sitting out here. Um, I do need to assemble these. I think I was just taking, I think it's all there. It's just that I had to take like a little spring out of it or something like that. But yeah, this thing would be cool to have back. It's got the little lights and a winch on it and whatnot. The only thing that needs to be really fixed is the transmission because it's just got a, it's just got a, a backup spice on it right now because MST blew on me but I'm not in a rush to get this thing done because I want to get beast mode put back together because that would be probably a lot more reliable than this thing a little wood chipper um, the DYT 4000 with a little tiny 8 host flathead which I rebuilt a long time ago back then when I didn't have like a thousand projects to work on I was just looking at this thing, and I mean, this thing would be cool to have back because it's really lightweight, and it did have a hydro, which I locked and put 22-inch ATV tires on it, which looked pretty good, and it was a little bit poorly swapped. This thing would be cool. It's just like a little lightweight kind of little thing to play around on. Um, a little told that I took the engine off for the golf cart build, and this little 25. 
inch cut, which I do have the model deck somewhere. Little oh, five post facing stratton. So I also got a, a little footy transmission, which is kind of a unique one. They're not strong, but they're unique. So I think there's one in drive too. It's kind of cool. Got the bumper and the grill for the suburban, and this is the hood for the Lincoln. Just got them painting. It looks really good, but it's actually got a. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it's got a few scratches in it. You can kind of see that one off to the left hand side. Yeah, I'll probably put some red stripes on it here soon. I'm gonna let the paint dry a little bit. Wet sand a few spots and then get that done. Lastly, we'll be taking a look at the tractor land portion of it. These are more the parts tractors. There's a Bolins, a Craftsman, some MTDs in here. This is a high low. MTD. I think it's got an opposed twin on it, but I believe the valves are stuck because it didn't have an intake on it, which got a little bit of water in the in the exhaust the intake valve, so that needs fixed. Craftsman, Craftsman. This one has an MST206 in it, I believe. Yep. Um, an MTD had a cold cord, so it's kind of junk. A uh, Dynamo, I believe, a Noma, something like that. There's a old style craftsman with an opposed twin under the hood. It's got a six speed spicer, it's actually got a five speed spicer. There's a six speed um, with a 12 host comp C overhead valve craftsman. This is a decent one, it's got the Pulis 800, so I'm gonna take the transmission out soon. Um, craftsman with, I believe, an overhead valve. Yeah. That one blew the rod, blew the counterbalance, did something. Pretty much a frame of a John Deere, a Toro, a Scotts, um, probably has like a KT, like some kind of K hydro, tough, uh, what do they call those, tough toke hydrostatic transmissions. An MTD with a V twin, it looks like, so might be a good V twin. Two Mori's, these are like really the only Mori's I have around, except for the party bus. They both have the Cup Season Hydros, a couple more the old machines, another one up here. It's a Craftsman, and there's a MTD with an Intec on it. There's this well used MTD with a 12 host, I believe. I had that one running, but it looks like the dipstick is missing. So I probably want to put something in that. There's a Husqvarna. I'm not sure what happened to that one, but probably didn't have a mow deck on it or something. A John Deere has a, I believe a one inch axle transmission, which is like one of the K70 uh, maybe, something like that. Some, something pretty high up. Um, kind of another Noma. It's got a, maybe a good decent post engine on it at least. And it's also got a Peerless 930, so that would be nice to take out. A few scrap mower decks and take some craftsmen and have a good day. Um, a Toro, which this is kind of a, a unique one. It's got all that little relays taken out. There's a few fuses I can take out too. This one had the hydraulic pump in it. I also had another tool just like this that had the hydraulic pump, so I have two of those now. And one of them's on my Suburban with that blade on it now. Here's another Noma type thing. Coal of Command, I believe. Um, some weird looking... Yeah, this is another Moe over here, I guess. With a... Some kind of Tecumseh. It's got kind of a weird transmission. Um, but I think it's a Spicer. This was kind of a cool mower at the time. Um, let me see, yeah, the axle's in it. And the axle's just completely broken off. And you see I did a little bit of reinforcement to it, which definitely helped a lot. If the frame didn't bend and the axle broke instead, that, that means a good, that means the frame at least is pretty strong now. But yeah, that thing's gonna be sitting like that forever now, probably. 
some little push mow. I'll always pout it out MTD with like literally nothing on it. Um, little craftsman just bail frame. It's got a, a stamp steel axle, so there's really no point in me taking it out unless if I need spindles on it, which because I think the spindles will fit in a cast iron axle. Um, no junk MTD with pretty much nothing on it. Another MTD, and also there's one more craftsman frame. I guess it's got a really nice um, dashboard I should take off. It looks good. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the tractors I have around right now. There should be some more coming in here soon. So, until next time, stay tuned for more.